marketplace? It's a far cry from how I remember it. Huh. The stores have changed, and so have the vendors. Well, that's to be expected. <gasps> it's... the Shogun! What is the almighty Shogun doing here? Uh, isn't the Shogun sick? This is quite sudden. Uh, I appear to have frightened the people. Well, what did you expect? The almighty Shogun makes an impromptu appearance in town? People are gonna freak out a bit. Patrolling the streets is the Tenryo Commission's job. The Shogun has a lot of information to process and orders to give out. She doesn't have time to deal with it herself. Additionally, the Shogun has no need of recreation. There would be no need for her to come here just to pass the time or to relax. So, what do we do now? Should we go away for a while and make a more low-profile return later? Why? It's not like I'm here to cause trouble. Let's just relax. It was more the ordinary people that Paimon was worried about. I... Uh, never mind. This definitely seems like your style, eh? People still use Mora in commercial transactions, I assume. Yep, same as ever. Just as shiny and just as hypnotic. Wait a second. Hey, are you saying you don't have any Mora either? Gosh, it really is the Shogun. I thought I must be seeing things. I do hope I didn't say anything. Of course I don't. There is no need for commerce in the plain of Euthymia. If I ever need something, I can simply have one of the commissions bring it to me. Wait, what do you mean, either? Anyway, people seem to be behaving in a very orderly fashion. I don't see the liveliness you spoke of anywhere. What's the occasion? I can't believe the Shogun is here in the flesh. I must remember to breathe. Hey, come on, that's crazy talk. Crazy talk, I, I wouldn't dare. I... I've never seen the Almighty Shogun so close up before. My mind's gone completely blank. I don't know what I should be doing. Almighty Shogun. Where's my camera? I need to get a picture. Wait, but is it okay to take a photo without permission? Uh, people aren't exactly gonna let their hair down in front of the Almighty Shogun. This is why we call our Shogun Almighty. She just exudes majesty. It's palpable even from over here. I knew she couldn't be ill. Not our wise and powerful Shogun. No way. Hmm. What is this doll selling? I don't believe I've ever seen this before. Shogun, I, uh... <laughs> Excuse me. It's all right. Relax. I'm just here to look around. I'm having a change of pace today. Could you tell me about the items you're selling? Of course. I've got all kinds of snacks here. Takoyaki, dango, and uh, uh, milk, and so on. Huh? Milk? Sounds kind of like the odd one out. It might sound odd, but it is, in fact, my specialty. You see, many of the stores in town are already very well established. I couldn't compete with them no matter what I sell. So my idea was to create some new combinations to give customers a novel experience. For example, my latest concoction is this dango milk. When the dango are worked into a viscous form, they mix very nicely with the milk. 
The focus is not just the taste, but also the unique texture. Oh, Dongo with milk. Hmm, I've never heard of it. What made you want to do this? Uh, I'm sorry, Shogun. I've got no bone to pick with Eternity. I said relax. There's no need to go treading on eggshells. Do you really think the Eternity I pursue is something that can be shaken by Dongo and milk? Huh. Why do I feel like she's different than I expected? Actually, it came to me by chance. A friend was catering once and made too many Dongo, so they gave some to me. But there were more than I had use for. My milk wasn't selling well at that time either. And both Dongo and milk have a short shelf life. So I thought I'd try mixing the two as I had nothing to lose. To my surprise, in the right proportion, it tasted superb. A chance combination. Hmm. Interesting. May I try this drink? The Almighty Shogun wants to try? Well, well certainly. And you two should try it too. Hmm. Nice. It's sweet. <laughs> the sensation is not so different from eating a dessert. <gasps> a unique beverage, indeed. Yeah, it's definitely a drink, but it also feels like eating food. Hmm, it's a little bit like... Uh, porridge? Mm, but the resemblance is only superficial. Anyway, I like it. I'm very glad you approve. I imagine that an item as delicious as this Dongo milk must sell exceptionally well, no? <laughs> well, I won't lie to you. Sales are very average. Huh? So it's selling slowly? Why is that? Uh, because most people aren't willing to give it a try. They think it's an unusual combination. Even though everyone who's tried it before rates it highly. I'm not saying the Almighty Shogun has unusual tastes. Please, don't take it the wrong way. Ah, oh, I see. Well, that can be fixed. I'll just have the Yashiro Commission order a few hundred cups and go door to door delivering them. No, 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 Almighty Shogun, that's too much. Is it? I just want them to try it. It would be a shame for them to miss out on Dongo milk. I. Uh... <laughs> oh, I would. No. No need. That would be needlessly indulgent. Ah, <sighs> there's nothing like dessert for improving one's mood. Much more enjoyable than meditating alone all the time. By the way, Miko mentioned that she founded something called the Yai Publishing House to sell some sort of light novels. She's always bragging to me about it, but it's difficult for me to really imagine without seeing the place for myself. Can you take me there? Sure! Let's go and have a look! Illusion shattered! Must have her reasons. Sh Shogun! O Almighty Shogun! What brings you to the Yai Publishing House? Do you have instructions for us? No, not at all. Don't be so nervous. I'm just here to look around. A apologies. I, I still don't quite understand. Are you here to look into the management? Or publishing regulations, or fire safety measures? Uh, she just wants to browse your books. The Almighty Shokin wishes to read light novels? Yes. Any recommendations? Um, the Yai Publishing House's novels are mostly targeted at the general public, and the content is all kinds of strange. I'm not sure we have anything quite to the Almighty Shokin's taste. I'm just here to try something new. There's no fun in reading the same kind of thing over and over again. Relax. It's just words on a page, isn't it? 
What could I misunderstand, really? In principle, you're absolutely right. It's just... It'll be fine. If there's anything the Shogun doesn't understand, we'll explain it to her. Well... Okay, then. Uh, please proceed to the bookshelf over there. It has all the latest bestsellers. There are some winning entries from the This Novel is Amazing competition. Uh, I have just finished compiling them into a saleable form. Um, don't take them too seriously. It's all just a bit of fun. Okay, let's go then. Huh. How can this be? Did I underestimate the caliber of this material? I know every individual word in these books' titles, so why is it that they make no sense to me in these particular combinations? Take this one, for example. The good thing about being reincarnated as a hilly churl is that I only need to eat sunsetias to become stronger. Huh. <sighs> I know ev- Take this one, for example. The good thing about being reincarnated as a hilly churl is that I only need to eat sunsetias to become stronger. <sighs> it's so long! Is it true that hilly churls grow stronger from eating sunsetias? Well, surely it should be some sort of meat, at least. It's just a narrative device! Narrative device. So it's... made up? What's the point of that? Without being grounded in reality, how can the story be believable? Also, I'm fairly certain that Hilly Churls can't write stories. So, does this author claim to be documenting Hilly Churl life from an outside perspective, perhaps? Uh... Paimon's starting to understand Kuroda's reservations right about now. Uh, how about we choose for you? We can pick out some novels that are easier to understand and give you a scoop. Alright then. I believe myself to be relatively well-read, but with stories like these, I don't even know where to start. I have high hopes, though. This seems like Miko's style, so I'm sure the stories are very entertaining. All right, leave it to us. We'll be back in a jiffy. This could be a pretty tough job. Let's see what we're up against. What a strange person. Why would someone want to be a novelist that badly? Someone like that could easily become the top martial arts pro in the world! You do have a point. And a character so determined to follow their ambition is likely to appeal to A, right?
but Paimon can tell this girl has loved the main character with all her heart since childhood. Yeah, she has so much love to give. She deserves it. The plot is really gripping. But would A really understand this kind of mortal romance? With a premise like this, it's no wonder Kuroda was nervous about letting A look around. Uh, Paimon thinks it might be best not to bring this one up with A. We might get the author in trouble. Well, if someone turned into Paimon and did a bunch of Paimon would never do, Paimon would feel really uncomfortable. That's all of them! Let's try to explain them to A. Surely it'd be more interesting for the protagonist to discover their ability to stop time here. The looks on your faces tell me you found some good stories. Are there seven people all striving to have a relationship with a single male protagonist? Is this some sort of narrative device, too? Uh, not really. It's a pretty normal story. You know, where the guy can only choose one girl in the end. I see. Yes, this is an important relationship, so he must choose wisely. But the decision-making process is a source of agony and conflict. So, could the author not simply add a narrative device whereby the main character could accept the feelings of all seven admirers at once? Yes, that would solve it. That would be the most boring love story ever! Love. Hmm. Narrative devices are truly mysterious things. 